It's been a long time coming, but we're finally putting aluminum on my teardrop trailer. I definitely thought this project was going to be a lot quicker than it was, but I'm really glad it's come together. So let's get started. Did you buy stainless screws? Not yet. I should go do that then. Got the last flat finished piece cut. What I did is I just laid it on top there and traced all the lines out. It's pretty self-explanatory to do. You put it up your piece where you want it, trace your lines on the opposite side of the finish, cut your holes. So let's put this up on that. Okay, so I gotta bend this piece of metal up a bit or down whatever way you want to call it so what I've done is clamped two pieces of straight metal so I've got a piece of strut and then a piece of aluminum angle iron to get a nice square bend to it and we're going to try and carefully bend it I wish I had a sheet metal break but I don't Just about, yeah.
Okay, I got, I had to bend this more a little bit. Um, I had to hammer down up on top. I stuck a piece of three quarter inch angle iron right here across and then I just hammer on both sides to get it to sit flush. Um, once I get the angle iron screwed in or angle aluminum screwed in, should hold nice and tight. You can always use the hammer to persuade a little bit more, but I mean, it's sitting flush here. So I am ready to start putting the corner moldings on. I gotta prep the old one, take all the old silicone off and get it put up. And got myself some corner seal tape so that way I can tape up these corners, put some butyl tape down, then put my molding on. And I uh, should stop that from leaking 100%, hopefully. Okay, I got the uh, cap sealant tape on. Um, gotta really pay attention to your line, because over here I went too far right, and it's barely sticking on there, and once it's on, it's not coming off. It does not peel off at all. Well, that's why I'm going over with this stuff as well, so should kind of all mix in nicely and hopefully work well. Okay. Um, before you stick them on, prep them. Like, don't peel the tape off. So that way you can figure out where it's going to sit. Because I didn't do that on this one and it's a little too far back. So now I've got a gap I need to fill in with a uh, chunk of aluminum angle iron. Oh well, it is what it is, so. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, that about does it for this part. What I went and gone and done is I uh, prep the front of this for hinge. Um, I'm putting a piece of flat bar, wherever it is they cut it, across this front. And then I'm going to put the hinge like so. I just cut a piece off so that way I can figure out how it's going to go. It's going to go over the edge a little bit so that way the water can run off the edge and not into the hatch, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, so that about does it for this part. I got all the flat finish aluminum up. So I got the roof and the sides. I got the trim up. I can't remember how much I filmed or not. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of this stuff I've just been doing without camera. But so far I'm really happy with how it's coming. So the checker plate's gonna start here and run that way. So that way it's gonna be all smooth and then it's gonna run on an angle to 48 inches. Go from here, 48 inches, and then just measure my two point, points, and then just cut her off on an angle. Do that for both sides. That way I kind of have quite the overlap for a seam, and that way water doesn't get in. Now we're gonna work on this hinge first. Because this one seems the easier one to do. But that's the next part. So stay tuned. Next part of the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.